Um, I, uh, I, I kind of broke, broke something. So I had to do a little towing, but you let me know if, if this sounds normal to you. All right. She broke. I was in the middle of rock picking too, because I turned up a whole bunch of rocks out there. So I'm trying to pick them all up and there's a ton out there and it just didn't want to work on me anymore. So we are resorting to five gallon buckets and the tractor bucket. Kind of spilled it everywhere. It has oil. Will it surprise us? What? <laughs> the jaw was straight up seized. How is she running? I'm telling you, this thing will surprise us. How was he running? Dude, she's good to go. She's got another thousand hours in her. I wonder if the trans has anything in it. Oh, that's, it's got liquid in it. Careful, careful. A little more, a little, little more, a little, little, little more. Oh my, blow by. A little blow by. Is it blow by? Oh yeah, it's blow by. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little bit of both. Just a little bit of Sounds like a champ. We finally got a diesel tank for the farm. This particular one goes on my truck. It's a better built tank from Lowe's on sale for $350. It's a 75 gallon tank with a toolbox on it. It is just a perfect addition for the farm. Fits nice on my truck. Believe it or not, the last two years of making hay, which I've been making hay for two years. This is my third year now. The last two years, I ran my equipment off of two five gallon cans of diesel. That's how I would run the farm. I'd put the cans in my Tacoma. I'd run out to the gas station, put 10 gallons in there, highway diesel I may add, and run back. The reason we ran highway is one, we don't have a big diesel tank, so we couldn't get like a shipment of off-road diesel out here. And two, it's the closest gas station, it's five minutes down the road, and uh, we fill, I'd fill them up and I'd bring it back. Now, with that being said, we don't burn a whole lot of diesel in the first place, so, you know, it's not like we were spending thousands and thousands of dollars in diesel, um, but we were paying an extra, what, 25, 50 cents for a gallon, and I would go and fill those cans up, you know, a couple times during each cutting mind you that was only for the eight acres that i was doing out here and some custom work i was doing for the neighbors so it got to be pretty annoying which is why when i bought this truck the first thing i said i was going to do is buy a diesel tank for it so that i could actually you know have enough diesel to last me a while we thought about putting it on the farm truck over there the reason we didn't do that was because it's our hay hauling truck and if we put that tank on there it would drastically reduce the amount of hay that i'm able to fit on that truck it would just be a royal pain hauling hay with a tank on there so that's why we didn't do that. And that's why when I bought this truck, I was like, well, we're gonna put a diesel tank on it. That just makes the most sense. Now there is a gas station like 15 minutes away from here that does sell off for diesel. I can just pull up to a pump and put off for diesel in there. And that 75 gallons will last us for a good long while. Now the thing is I picked up about roughly 15 acres of rented ground this year. Now I lost 12 acres of custom ground, but I picked up 13 acres of rented ground plus the 14 new acres of new seating, which means I'm gonna be doing, actually I did the math, with everything I'm doing, I'm doing 46 acres this year of hay alone, which is double what I was doing last year as far as hay ground. So we've got a lot more to do here this year, a lot more hay to make. We're gonna be burning a lot more diesel. We need to have that diesel on hand. And obviously if we're gonna have all that diesel, we might as well save that 
25, 50 cents a gallon and get off-road diesel. The only way to really it makes sense for us to get a whole bunch of diesel is for us to have a tank. We thought about getting just like a small 100 gallon tank to set like right there and get a shipment out, but we ended up deciding to go with this because then I can actually drive out to the field and top things off with diesel if I need to. Uh, just makes the most sense for us. Plus it's got a toolbox and this thing was on sale, like I said, for 350 bucks at Lowe's. It's a thousand dollar tank. It was on sale for 350 bucks. Now I got a hand pump for it, just a, a hand pump instead of an electric pump, just cause that was on sale for $72. So all in all that tank and pump was 450 bucks. We saved a lot of money. I'm not filling up giant 100 gallon tanks of fuel. So a hand pump will do just fine for us because the ag code like a 25, 30 gallon tank and the 966 is somewhere around there similar. So, you know, it, it might be a little annoying cranking it all the time, but I mean, I've been filling up my tractors with diesel for the last two years with cans. So this is gonna be an amazing difference. I just finished putting some bolts in, two bolts there and two bolts there. I could go with two back here, but they're gonna be hard to reach because of the fuel tank that sits about right there. And then there's an axle and a leaf spring. So I'm just gonna not deal with them. Boy, it's windy today. Here's our pump. This is a GPI hand pump, rotary. Um, that's all it is, simple. Simple little mechanism. And we just gotta screw it in the hole. 